In the previous example, we saw the swap image behavior. The problem with this is that it's not apparent that anything is going to happen if you put mouses over that. So we're going to do the second one by creating firstly the hyperlink so that there's an automatic rollover effect that's created so that the visitor expects something to happen. So I put my cursor inside the second heading and this time again I press the H3 to select the lot and then in the link thing I'm just going to put the hashtag and that gives it the default styling which is that rollover effect and now with that selected I'm going to create a rollover effect. Ah, now the first thing I've forgotten here is that I need to, well I've already got uh, an ID for that, sorry, so I'm going to create a rollover swap image. Again I've got Echo Tour already selected there and this time I'm going to select a different image, one called Tau, uh, no, Underground. Okay, so I accept that. And I'm also, of course, creating the swap image restore, which puts it back the way it was with the mouse over effect. And now when we save this, and we can preview it in the browser, we see the first one, it's not apparent that anything's going to happen, but on the second one, there's a hyperlink and I've created the behavior with the hyperlink so it's much more overt that there is something to be expected with the mouse over in that position.